G'day all you beautiful people, my name is Brad Magnum, and I'm Tim Summer, and welcome back to Cole's Party, where, uh, about last to Last time, last time, yeah, Bayou was splattered against the wall, you know, and, um, yeah, now it's chapter three. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get right into that, shall we? This game is getting worse and worse. And the, better and better at the same time. View the chapter three opening? I do believe we'll do that. Pant, 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 cough, cough. I wonder if it's... Oh, okay, now we need to make up new voices. Okay. Uh, Mit Mitsuki. I don't think I need too much... Alright, I'll, I'll do it. I can't take much more of this! What's wrong with this school? Who the hell was that? And why was he here? If he got hit with that hammer like that, we'd be goddess! Where's Kurosaki? <laughs> Don't worry about him. He was just here. He does look very proper, doesn't he? We'll run into him any minute now. I'm sure of it. Why? I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like that. You saw him too, right? Amy's body? Her head. Her head was split wide open. Creepy. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it. Please. Uh, who's Fukuroi? That's the guy who just doing His name's Fukuroi. Ah, now. Damn it! Where did everyone go? Do those do those names sound familiar to you at all? No, I don't think so. Uh, no, they wouldn't be. They're no. just more Japanese names. Mitsuki sounds familiar though. Oh, what? Look, Fukuroi! Look, the hallway. It it can't be the corridor. It grew. What is... No, no, it's the other way. Look, down the hall. Something's... Ah, something's coming! What? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> he split and spins home helping. <laughs> no! This is disturbing. That sounds juicy. I can't really hear it. Wimper, Wimper! No! I'm expecting something really disturbing to pop up on the screen soon. This isn't Five Nights at Freddy's. They, they flashed a disturbing picture just before, alright? Oh, they too. Yeah, uh, no! 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 Wait up! Weep! Sniffle, Wimper! What's happening? What the hell is going on? You're being destroyed by a hammer murderer. It just doesn't have the same ring as axe murderer, does it? No, but it would be a little more splatty. <laughs> more juicy. Like the Jackson Pollock of murderers. It was Jackson Pollock, right? What? I don't remember. The guy who just threw paint at a canvas? I don't know. Bitch ain't getting ahead of life. God. Yeah! 
Who the hell has their phone? It's only a movie. Well, are you gonna answer or what? Oh. Ah, hello? That is many times disturbing. I'm not doing that again. Yeah, well, we get the idea. Ugh! Throw phone! Because that shit wasn't even useful. Pant, pant, pant! Well, I'd imagine there'd be no reception in a haunted school. That is a, tr that is a true point right there. Probably even getting any fucking thing. Why would you show this again? Sicko! I don't understand! You said we'd make it out of here together! You can clearly hear me while you're dead! Why would you kill yourself? What happened? Where'd you get the rope? What did you see? Uh, I think you did this voice. I don't remember what voice I did, so I'm gonna make up a... Uh, Dead-Eyed Fish Girl? Dead-Eyed Fish Girl. I do not remember what voice I did. Pick one at random. Whee, it really is a pity. Oh dear god. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep doing that accent. I can never do that, that accent for a long time. Top of the morning to you, laddies! <laughs> My name is fucking Seamus Finnegan. Alright, well, here, let's proceed. Alright, <clears throat> oh, really is a pity. <gasps> Gasp! Who, who are you? Oh! It's that one. Yeah, still doesn't Dead Eye Fish Girl. Right. Uh, but it's still. I don't remember. I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds this school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane and eat their friends. Sometimes they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That's horrible! Now that just your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. No! You will be all by yourself from here on out, until the day you die. That's charming. My cell phone does have sick of number stored in it, and everybody else's too. Well, oh, that did not sound pleasant. Oh God, it hurts. That sound was that my leg? I can still feel my leg. Gang, spit, wretch. Pretty fucking gross. 
Pull yourself together. You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. I'm I'm not tough at all. Seiko. Seiko. I can't take any more of this. Somebody, please help me. Keep sobbing. This wapper. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You're chunny funny. Here we go. Uh -oh. You're doing great, Yoko. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not. Koko ni tsurete kurareta seimei energy. I sense that other corporeal beings, such as yourselves, were brought here as well. Hi, Yumi. Uh, nine in total. Nine poor souls, pulled in at once. Nine! <laughs> nine of them! That, that would be me, and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki, Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumata, and Morishige? In other words, everybody in the room at the time. Damn it! So, everybody else is in this school too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So, in essence, they are indeed all in this school. But it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. Floor's a different color. Mm. If you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath, and that's the fate best avoided. Motherfucker, we have to try anyway. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find her and get the fuck out of here. Big brother! They're all such good people. You're not gonna yeah, fucking chuckle every time she says Onichan, are you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> They've done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. Oh, that is so fucking out of character. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors of may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter the, your fate for the better, even if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. Well, you're not flammable, so to start. Big brother! Hmm? <laughs> what is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school is a mind of its own or something? Yes. At any rate, we should try and find this you and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If you come across a way out of here, I want you to take it in the ass. The <laughs> look on her face is like, oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> there must be an entrance way, or an emergency exit, or roof exit, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're gonna go straight home. No buts. Cafe <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's start doing this exploration stuff. So this has a couple of markings. Looking closely, there appear to be words written on it. But those are indistinct and seem to change from moment to moment as if in flux. Well, that'd probably be the message they left. Yeah, and possibly others. Sitting on the shelves, I'm. Well, store is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked. There's no way to get it. Just Smash punch it! it. Smash, smash that cabinet button! 
The door behind a shelf seems to be to exist purely for show, as it's fixed to the wall like a model. There's no way to open it. Without like a wrecking ball or something. Come on, Miley Cyrus, where are you? Did you know that song? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, article oh, probably again, called The Heavenly Coast. And I'm reading breaking news here again in murder, but much of the news worn away. But it's just kind of years discovered. Is... We've read this before, yeah. Let's see what. Well, they all have to fucking find it. Oh, it's getting. What a horrible incident. I remember hearing about Mr. Shinazaki, this psycho bitch. During one of her candlelight vigils. I guess she did say it was a true story. Oh, cool, there's the bloody plank. That plank will not support your weight. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's at least if that I think that's how you say it. Yeah. There's a rusty bucket on the ground. It's empty for once. No piss in that bucket. Oh, you son of a bitch, where have you- Oh, no, this is shit again, huh? Yeah, I can remember exactly where that one is. A little easy, a little sparkly spot. But I might not be- Be gone, anything. spot! That's what you say when you're sick of children's literature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear lord. Gunk! A child spirit? That red dress looked pretty old-fashioned, shut up. Brother! Shiver! It's okay. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> She's gone now. We'll be fine. Shudder me, runners. This is where you need to stand. Usually, well, usually you have to. Yeah, do a cutscene or some shit. Because I'd imagine they have to notice that it's teleporting rather than like, wait, wasn't that there before? Why are you walking? Why are you running? <laughs> Don't we want that plank of wood? Mm. Think it'll cover that? <laughs> well, it seems to be faintly hovering over the fire on the wall. Unfortunately, they keep lighting and darkening, moving and fluctuating, making it impossible to infer whatever the message they're meant to convey. Well, that's that kind of bullshit. Ah, uh, darkness. Did the music stop? Yes. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's time to kill. Yeah. <gasps> Howie! You hurt my hand, big brother! <laughs> Yuka! Yuka! Don't look! I mean, it's too late, but... It's not a prop or anything. It's a real dead body. You can tell by looking at it from two meters away. Excellent. This is really happening, isn't it? Big, big brother? A dead body. An actual dead body. Am I gonna end up like this too? Are all of us gonna die here? Am I hungry? It didn't take you long to lose that bloody righteous attitude, did it? Big brother! That's not it at all, but whatever. Ah, Yoga, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Andy. Come on, Yoga. We're leaving this room. Around, decomposing rapidly. The message has been painstakingly carved into four words next to it, seemingly with fingernails alone. I'm sure. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Kill me. Can't take any more. Can't take any more. Can't take any more. Let me out! Hey, saves. Smart move. Now, do you want that fucking plank of wood or not? <laughs> hey, look, there's a. Yeah. As the corpse right on the ground, it rapidly. It's clutching a letter in his hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move, I'm so, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would... Uh, I'd find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd drink that scary orange juice that's... Uh, from the back of the fridge right about Drink now. Drink your piss! <laughs> but there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. 
It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. And it's Hiroko Matsumura? Something like that. Shelves crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. What? Book of Beetle Wings. Book A. Book. <laughs> it's Book. It's gotta be Book. Like Doge? No, more like, more like the, uh, scan the, the, um, Valkyrie from Round the Twist. Do you have the book? I don't remember that episode. Oh. Is that, is that the one where they disappear or something? If, anyway, fuck it, let's keep playing. Death is blind. It comes for all souls, regardless of their worth or lack thereof. Big space there too, before the bracket. Good grammar, shithead. <laughs> There's no sound. Yeah, they're in this chapter too. Oh, um, I'm not different. Going to... You can you can read up to four without dying. I but don't really want to because it'll spoil the ending. If, if not know. not entirely, but you know a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. You can um ignore it entirely. You can ignore it entirely. And always come back and read them later. Yeah, exactly. I think actually in this chapter, I'm not sure because I've always read them as I go. But I think one of the papers actually blocks off access to one of the dead bodies or something yeah. later. I don't know where though. Okay. Yoga! Hey brother, will we ever be able to go home again? Mm. Or are we really stuck here until we die? <coughs> it's not like, true, right? Big brother, right? Um, well you pick what to say. Is this an important one? Uh, no, it's not like that. It's right. just... Do you comfort the bitch or not? You do comfort her. Yeah, you got a little sis. You look out for her. Doesn't I know. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yoko. I promise. Or you can eat my dick. All of us. Together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you've got me, right? Hick, hick. Yes. <laughs> That's a good girl. Yeah, that's not the better of you, huh? Yeah. Poor thing. Wasn't that exactly yeah, the, the way she spoke in chapter... Like, you could, they could hear her voice in chapter one? Remember how it said in chapter two that voices echo between mm. instances? Mm. Yeah. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation. trepidation yeah. And so you could, there's nothing to be afraid of. Is that how you say that word? Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here. No, now we also be feeling scared and alone. I want to tit fuck her ass. Draw little nipples on her cheeks. Yeah, that's how you do it. Bubes! <laughs> we need to find her as soon as we can. Although I think her tits are actually bigger than her ass. Yeah, the case with that one, anyway. I mean, how often do you see a girl with that sort of slender, like, build with tits of that ginormous size? Anime. Anime. Oh, oh look! A it's plague! Impossible. Would help, wouldn't it? It would help immensely. You're just doing it again and not, the pi not getting it to piss me off, aren't you? Is it just me? Or is that board moving? Nah, it's just board. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where I was seen before. No, I don't fucking know. I'll go to the other side and put it where I know it is. Yeah, we don't want to fuck around with it. We don't want to hurt the board's feelings. I mean, fuck, dude, let it go. So now I'm wondering, in which chapter do they pee in the bucket? I don't know. I can't remember. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh? They probably know. Don't leave me. Isn't she cute? Looks like she just got surprised by the don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Probably about being shouldn't only... be talking about surprise butt sex with a middle schooler. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I just had a thought about being an only child. No. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. But you have to come right back. You promise? Huh? You bet. Why does it now sound like a high-pitched Yuri voice? I have no idea. That's and away we go. <laughs> 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 but she's still technically in the party, so... Yeah. Wouldn't work. Nice thought though. Grab it, bitch! Yuka! 
Luca, can you grab that board? Aha! Uh -huh, I got it! Wow! Scored myself a perfectly good stick! <laughs> That'd make more sense if we'd actually played down under Dan. At this point. Yeah, well. We'll do it. How we do that one next? Maybe. Nicely done! I can't say we're, I'd say we're one step close to getting out of here now. You're all set? Come on, let's go! Okay. Actually, wait a second, brother. Mm. What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh, there sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Looks like he's taking a shit. <laughs> Hey, chloroform! That smells really good. <laughs> Isn't it neat? No. <laughs> she probably spent her allowance at the stationery shop in town again. Fucking idiot. See? Caramel flavor is special. I'm doing fucking Yuri's voice. Fuck! It protects you from accidents. I can't fucking stop. And it shields you from danger. I can't if you do fucking it stop. If you do it high pitch enough, it'll probably work. Now I sound a bit more like Sayori. A little bit. Flavor? This place is frightening you? Don't worry, I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, I don't really mind. You take it. He just went between two voices in one sentence. That's talented. <laughs> I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. You're a scatterbrain. You're fucking idiot. You always get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you fucking little bitch? <laughs> Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. No choice. Yep, he needs to be pegged. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. Something that would bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain? <laughs> Proceed, Fortran beads. Place the loose board? Why, yes I will. I'd rather a tight board, but beggars can't be choosers. Earthquake, you Tavi Maska! Damn, another earthquake! Yuka, grab my hand! That'll protect you from the earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds like it's breaking. Like, the way he's looking around, he's just like, he's bored. Are you, are you done yet? <laughs> it's over! Yes, that's that's exactly how earthquakes work, isn't they it? They fix things. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode here, and we'll start the next one in a second. So, leave a like and subscribe, but you won't, but I don't care because I have a big penis. Turtles. Turtles. <laughs>